Hello lovely souls, I hope you're okay, hope you're having a good day. Thank you for joining me. So this video is um, to help explain a little bit about people pleasing. So us sensitive souls uh, can, um, growing up, get into a pattern of behaviour where we people please, where we put the needs of others before our own, where we put um, the f emotions of others before our own, where we put the energy of others before our own, where we put the time of others before our own. And this is a, a habitual pattern of behaviour that can be completely unconscious and we can be completely unaware of it. Some of us are aware of it, but it can be completely um, unconscious. And even though you may realize that you're people pleasing to a certain extent, um, you may not realize the extent to which you people please or how frequently you people please or how the people pleasing manifests. So for example, um, just in conversations um, you might uh, agree with others when you don't hold that belief yourself because you just want to please them. So people pleasing happens because we can happen for a variety of reasons but I'll tell you my experience and see if it resonates with you. So people pleasing can happen because we desperately don't want other people to feel any uncomfortable or negative emotions caused by ourselves. So in order to do that, we want them to feel 100% okay in our company. And therefore, we please them by agreeing with everything that they say, holding the same beliefs as them, um, doing as they ask us to do, um, giving time to them when they ask at the cost of us ourselves um, a, a multitude of reasons so that's the first reason the second reason can be because we fear rejection and we are and this may not be conscious it may be conscious you may be aware of it or you might not be aware of it but we fear rejection now most people fear rejection but it really does depend on your past experiences as to how much you fear rejection. It depends on your childhood, on the experiences that you had, the, the, what experiences you had at school. It really does depend on, on all of those things as to how much you fear rejection. And fearing rejection causes us generally to people please. So we want others to... Um, stay with us and not reject us therefore we do everything that we can to keep them so we please them at the cost of ourselves third reason is the need for approval it's linked in with rejection but we need approval and acceptance by others so we need people to approve of us to approve of our life to approve of our uh, values to approve of uh, who we are how we dress um, what kind of person we are, uh, approve of our um, hobbies, approve of our, um, our beliefs, approve of everything. So in the, um, in, the, in the need for approval and acceptance of others, we people please. So we want to make sure that other people um, approve of us and accept us by pleasing them at the cost of ourselves. People pleasing over time depletes your energy so, so much that you can reach levels of exhaustion, burnout, times where you just feel like, feel so, so, so exhausted that you can't do anything else. I remember uh, there were times where I just, I, I couldn't, I couldn't, there were times where I couldn't face social situations because I was so exhausted because people pleasing 
gives a version of yourself to others that isn't the authentic version because you're wanting to please everybody all the time. So you agree with this group of people with their beliefs and then with this group of people over here you believe you agree with their beliefs and you show them a version of yourself that pleases them and over here you're showing a version of yourself that pleases this group of people. It doesn't mean that you are being a totally different person, a completely different person in each of these different groups that you're in. But there is an element where you are pleasing others, which means that you're not being authentic. You're pleasing others because of the fears that you have about needing approval, fearing rejection. Um, and it is so, so damaging to our energy over time. Um, some of us are aware of that we people please and some of us are not aware that we people please. People please. Um, so, um, sorry. Um, yeah, so some of us are aware of people pleasing and some of us are not aware of people pleasing. So all we can do is bring a little bit of a awareness and, and take a moment to think, where am I people pleasing? Um, where am I? Um, where am I pleasing others at the cost of myself? Where am I uh, saying yes when I really want to say no? Um, there can be a lot of guilt for people pleasers, a lot of guilt. So quite often people who people please, uh, if they don't people please, they uh, can be self-critical self -critical with feeling that it's selfish to not please others all the time. It is, uh, you, you feel guilt ridden for not pleasing others all of the time because you've got into a cycle of doing it so much that when you try and change that behavior, the mind comes in and tries to criticize you for it, for change. Um, it is not selfish and you do not need to feel guilty for saying no, setting boundaries, not people pleasing. It's absolutely imperative, particularly in these times just now that we're in, that we don't people please, because there is very, very, very little energy reserves at the moment with everything that we're all going through as a, as a world, as humanity is going through. There is very, very little energy left for you. So if you give it all away to others, if you give it all away, you have very little left. There is very little leeway now for energy reserves and we need to really, really protect our energy. It's really, really important. So I'm gonna ask you just to check in just now. Um, just check in, hands on heart. It helps us connect with our heart. Take a couple of deep breaths. settled. I'm going to just say an affirmation just now. An intention actually, it's more of an intention this one. I let go of the need to people please. I love myself enough to put myself first. I let go of the need to people please. I love myself enough to put myself first. I let go of the need to people please. I love myself enough to put myself first. And just sit with that for a moment. Notice any emotions that may come up with that. there may be some resistance and what I mean by resistance is your mind may be not really accepting that intention, not wanting to accept that intention because it's new. As people pleasers what can happen is the mind gets used to 
you behaving in that way and if you then try and change it even just a little bit the mind wants to resist because it, it doesn't like change even positive change but you are safe to make positive changes in your life Let's say that just now, set this intention also. I am safe to make positive changes in my life. I am safe to make positive changes in my life. And these intentions that we set, these affirmations, intentions, you can write these down and remind yourself of them and say them over and over again. Try, sorry, my eyes are a wee bit watery. Um, try and say them with conviction. Check in with your heart. Hand, if you put your hands on your heart, it can make a massive difference to how you connect with what you're saying. So putting your hands on your heart, taking a couple of deep breaths and saying it with conviction. Saying it like you really mean it can make a massive, massive difference. Thank you so much for joining me again. Um, I send you so much love. Let me know in the comments or send me a private message if, if you want to connect or if you want to let me know how you're getting on. Um, lots of love. Take care. Bye-bye.